Hey y'all, it's Sharon with Living Our Best Life. You know, um, we're in a season of jubilation. Why do I say that? Because the, the seventh month of the Hebraic calendar, which we're in, Tishri, is the dearest of all months to Elohim, our God. The reason being is that there's three specific uh, feasts that are celebrated in this month. And that is head of the year, or Rosh Hashanah, which we talked about in the last video, Yom Kippur, which is the holiest day of the year. It's the day that we remember as believers in Christ, his sacrifice, and we thank him as we should every day for all that he paid for and embracing the fullness of his sacrifice. And then there is five days later, the Feast of Tabernacles or Sukkot. And that begins Friday night, sunset. And the Bible says that these feasts, three main feasts, they're, the, there's three main feasts. Within each feast, there's three cluster. There's a cluster of events that take place, celebrations. The Almighty God said these were perpetual, that the children of Israel were to always celebrate them. Well, because we're in Yeshua now, we as believers can celebrate them as well and their joyous celebrations, especially this one coming up. Matter of fact, it's called the season of our joy. And in Zechariah 14, 16, it says that the nations should come and worship the king and the Lord of hosts and to keep the feast of the tabernacles. You know, it says that in Deuteronomy 16, 13 through 15, you shall celebrate the Feast of Booths. That's another way of recognizing the Feast of Tabernacles because Sukkot means booths. This is a time when the children of Israel lived in the wilderness in temporary dwellings or booths. This is what this celebration is all about. Remembering the goodness of God to bring us out of the wilderness place and place us into his kingdom and and into our land of promise whatever that may be for you and I but it says it's a celebration and that the people were to gather together and worship and celebrate and eat hear the sound of the shofar wave of the four kinds or the species and we give a wave offering to the Lord remembering his goodness and his grace and this is the time that that I think we need to ask the Lord to prepare us for a release and an increase of who he is in our lives. We want to increase in this season. We want to enter a new year as um, prepared and ready because, you know, this is the year of the door and there's going to be lots of opportunity to step into new things. But we can't go into the new things until we celebrate the fullness of who God is and what he's done in our lives today. There are 12 specific promises that I found in the word of God associated with the Feast of Tabernacles. And what I'm going to do over the next seven days, starting during the Feast of Tabernacles, I'm going to go on this platform and I'm going to share one of those promises, 12 promises associated with Sukkot. And you know, one of the first things that we learn is that the sound of the shofar was to be released. That was one of the commands. Eating and fellowshipping and rejoicing was, that's what this particular feast is all about. It's time to celebrate the goodness of God. Every day during Sukkot, Jewish people all around the world sing the Halals, the Psalms 113 through 118. That's a part of their morning prayers. And every day besides Shabbat, 
they do so clinching the four kinds. These are the, the branches that they bring together in a, in a citrus fruit, part of the harvest, part of the promise of God, of the promised land. And they wave them before the Lord. And you know, today I was reading about a wave offering. And a wave offering is a way of committing ourselves afresh to him. It's a thanking him for what he has done for us. It was voluntary. And the person was to bring the wave offering, not the priest. All the other offerings, the people would give to the priest and they would take it and burn it and do whatever they need to do to it. But the wave offering was special because the individual person, you and I, did it all by ourselves. In other words, it was voluntary. We're saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace in my life. That's what a wave offering is about. So I wanna encourage you to, if you haven't built your sukkah, build yourself a temporary dwelling. If you can do it outside, great. If you can't, do it inside your house. Just put a canopy, a, a piece of fabric over an area so you can just sit under it because this seven days is about you and I connecting afresh with the King of glory and welcoming the King of glory into our lives. We want to receive fresh vision, fresh impartation, glory. You know, this, this feast is also about provision. It's about fresh revelation. This is one of the, in the Haggai 2, when it says that on the seventh day, on the 21st day of the month, that's the month that we're in. That's actually the seventh day of this feast. The word of the Lord, a fresh revelation came to the prophet, and he shared it with the people. And that's the pro prophecy where he said, uh, God's going to shake everything that can be shaken. Do we have some things shaking in the earth today? Uh. Oh, we sure do. And God is shaking things. Why? Because he's shaking out all the dross in our life. He's, he's shaking to remove all the evil and the corruptness that's in our world so that his king, Jesus, the desire of all nations can be seen because God's going to have his reward. And his reward is you and I. His reward is the earth. You know, it says in the Psalms and several other places in the scriptures that the earth belongs to the Lord that he created it all. It's all his. But you know what else it says in there? It says the earth he has given to the children of men. What takes place on the earth is you and I's responsibility. So as good stewards of the manifold grace of God, we, we need to use our gifts to bless people. I want to encourage you to, to celebrate Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, build your temporary dwelling. Hey, and another thing, Bring your offerings to the Lord, your wave offering, your, your financial offerings, your gifts. Bring, you, can, you, can, you know what you can do as a, as a way of giving unto the Lord? You can take food to a shelter. You can feed the needy. You can give to your next door neighbor. You don't have to bring your gifts only into the house of God. You can give gifts and give offerings to those that are in need. That blesses the Lord. The Lord says, when we give to the needy, we give to the Lord. So friends, I want to in invite you to step in to the Feast of Tabernacles, which begins two days from today, Friday night, sunset, all the way through next Friday, October the 6th at sunset. Celebrate, rejoice, give thanks. Remember, God is for you. He wants to pour out his glory. He wants to strengthen you and encourage you. I just tell you that it is time for us to step into this new season, step through the new doors, let fear go. Don't worry about what tomorrow happened yesterday, what's going to happen tomorrow. Live for today, rejoicing and thanking the Lord and crying out to him. Let his glory come and rest upon you in this hour because he wants to infuse you with glory. He wants to infuse you with his presence. He wants to meet you right where you're at. He wants to heal you and deliver you. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. He's the soon coming King. Lean in, lean in, lean in to him. I speak 
the very presence of God. And this season of joy, may you encounter the living God over these next seven, nine days. May it so saturate, may he so saturate you, you with his presence that it lingers and you become a different person. One that God can use mightily in this hour to reach the lost. Because guess what? A great harvest is at hand and God is looking for harvesters. Do you want to be a harvester and glory carrier? Oh, I'm sure you do. So let him saturate you with his presence and with his glory and say yes. And your yes will produce a strength and a vitality that will help you to go through the door, deal with all the giants in your land and fulfill your divine destiny. I bless you all. Happy Sukkot. Till next time, this is Sharon.